How to do a two-person arm carry. There are several versions of the two-person arm carry a technique that can be used to transport an injured person to safety in the event of an emergency. You can carry someone from the side, or you can make a seat with your arms to carry an injured person. You should not attempt to perform these carries in an actual emergency without professional training, however. Changing an injured person's position could result in a serious back or neck injury. Practice at home with friends and seek out emergency training from a college or community center near you. Carrying from the side. Position the injured person on his back. To start, position the injured person on his back. This helps get the injured person in the correct position to be carried. You should carry someone from the side if he's unresponsive or unable to move. It's usually safer to carry someone in a sitting position, but this is not always possible if the person is unable to change positions. It's safer, in this case, to carry the injured person from the side. Go slowly to avoid further injury. If the injured person is able to talk, check in frequently to make sure he is comfortable throughout the process. In the event the injured person is unconscious, you may want to tie his hands loosely together at the wrists. This can make the carrying process easier. If you have something that can be used to tie the injured person's hands, like thick rope or a bandana, you can use this, too. Do not use anything thin or sharp to tie the person's hands, this can cut the person's wrists. Stand on the injured person's side. From here, you and your partner should each stand on the side of the injured person. One person should stand near the injured person's shoulders and the other should stand near the injured person's knees. Both of you should bend down on one knee so you're level with the injured person. Take hold of the injured person. From here, you and your partner can take hold of the injured person. Depending on where you're standing, you'll need to take hold of different parts of the injured person. The person standing near the injured person's chest should slip one arm beneath the injured person's shoulder and the other arm beneath the injured person's waist. 4. The person standing near the injured person's knees should place one arm beneath the injured person's hips and the other arm beneath the injured person's knees. 5. Shift the weight of the injured person. From here, you can shift the weight of the injured person into you and your partner's arms. In unison, you and your partner should shift your weight backwards. Lift the injured person up together, until the injured person is level with you and your partner's knees. Still working in unison, both you and your partner should turn the injured person in towards your chests. Stand in unison. From here, you and your partner can rise to your feet. Make sure you and your partner are communicating so you lift at the same time, as not to jostle or otherwise disturb the injured person. As you stand, make sure to carry the injured person high up, towards both of your chests. Lift with your legs, not your back. If you're truly the only people who can help the person, you mustn't hurt yourselves in the process. In the, the event the injured person is very heavy, you may need to have another person assist in supporting the injured person's weight. 